What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some cinematic sweeping and parallaxing city flyover shots using the cable cam cinematic movement rig and a city scene that we have set up inside of Blender here. If you want to know how to make a city like this, check out our last tutorial showing you how you can use our City Builder 3D assets with a particle system to create a city very quickly inside of Blender. And then you can come back to this one to create those cinematic camera moves flying around your city. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender and this is our scene set up here. We have distributed eight of our City Builder 3D metropolitan assets on a particle plane here. We think we use the metropolitan assets here. And uh, what we're gonna try to do is we're going to try to create a very long lens, parallaxing, uh, sweeping kind of helicopter flyover shot like you would see in the movies, like I'm going to show you on the screen right now. So what we're going to try to do in this scene in particular is have our camera fly around this main building in the middle here like you saw in the video that I just showed on the screen. So let's just go ahead and go to our panel here and we'll go to cable cam and we'll just import a cable cam here. And now as you can see it comes into the center of our scene so we'll just bring it up here. And this is our cable cam cinematic movement rig. Essentially this rig has two controls. It has the base control which essentially you drag around the position of the camera and then we have this camera pan and tilt control which controls where the camera looks at any given time. So anyways let's go ahead and select our main base here and what we're going to do is we're going to animate this camera along a pathway. So to do this we'll go ahead and select our cable cam base and then we'll go ahead and click on create connect cable on our cable cam tab here. It will bring your camera to the center of our scene here so it's a little bit hard to find right now. Let's just go ahead and hide our plane really quick so we can see it. And you have to kind of look for it but there's a pathway here called camera cable and it's just going to be running through your camera rig here so if we just scale it up here and uh, bring it up while it's selected here, you can see that now we have a pathway that we can animate our camera along. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and re-enable our particle plane here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make this pathway kind of wrap around our main building here in the center of our city scene here. And as I said before, there are two controls that we need to think about. First is the cable cam base, which will run through our pathway here. And the second one will be where our camera looks at any given time called the uh, pan and tilt control here. So since we want our camera to always be looking at the building in the center of our scene here, we'll go ahead and move this on that building so that our camera just always points at this building and we'll just be kind of swooping around it like you see in a lot of helicopter shots from different movies. So we'll go ahead and put this like this and if we go to view and viewpoint camera you can see that we are viewing through our camera here looking at our building in the center of our scene here and uh, right now our lens is a little bit wide and one thing to note is that to create that parallaxing movement between the foreground of your shot and your background it's important to shoot on a longer lens or a more zoomed in lens so we'll just go ahead and select our camera here and we'll just go to the camera tab and we'll just increase the focal length to something like 200. And that's a pretty long lens. As you can see, it actually gets longer here. So it's telling us that we're more zoomed in on the whole scene. And now if we go back to view viewpoint camera, you can see that we're way more zoomed in and we'll actually have to pull back, but we're gonna get that parallax in the background of our scene much more once we start moving the camera around. All right, so now let's go ahead and position our camera here. So we'll just go ahead and select our camera cable here and we'll just position it kind of off to the side here. And then if we go into edit mode, actually, we can actually adjust specific points on our camera cable here to uh, just kind of create a little pathway that kind of wraps around our main asset in the center here. And uh, we can actually open up a second window on the side here and then we'll just view through the camera in this mode. And now as you can see, we can kind of get an idea of what our camera is going to be looking at at any given time. So we'll just kind of bring our pathway up here so we get the, some of those buildings in the background and something like this. You can just adjust this whole cable where our camera is going to be moving through. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just try something like this, but of course you can move this around wherever you want. And of course, depending on where your background is, you might wanna add some more buildings or adjust your particle plane to fill up the background with some more environment. Uh, but we'll leave it like this for now, then we'll go back to object mode. And uh, since our camera is a little bit tight on our building here, we might just go ahead and select our pathway and just 
move it back a little bit and then we'll just move it up a little bit as well and uh, yeah something like this is looking pretty good here at the end of our animation we might increase the size of our particle city plane so that we fill up this background a little bit more um, but i think it's looking pretty good so now let's get to animating our camera along the curve so to animate our camera we'll just go ahead and select the base here and as you can see if we just drag it you can see on the right side of our screen the parallax we're creating in the background and how it's always focusing on where we put our second camera control in this case of course the building in the center of our scene here that we want our camera to fly around so what we will do here to animate our camera is we'll just go to frame one where our animation is starting and then we'll go ahead we'll make this a four second animation so we'll just set our end frame at the bottom here to something like 100 so we're around four seconds and uh, we'll just go ahead and grab our cable cam and we'll put it at the beginning point of our cable cam pathway and uh, we'll just press I and then we'll go ahead and add a location rotation and scale keyframe here and then we'll just go to frame 100 at the end of our animation here and then we'll just again we'll grab our base control and we'll just move it to the far side of our cable cam pathway and then again we'll just press I and then add another keyframe location rotation scale and now as you can see if I go to the beginning and I press play our camera is going to be animated around our main asset here like you would expect. Now by default Blender is going to feather in your animations so that your camera starts off moving slowly and then speeds up near the middle of your animation and then slows back down near your end keyframe. So if you want to just have a constant movement over the course of your animation you would just select your cable cam base and then just go to graph editor here and then just go to channel extrapolation mode and then go to linear extrapolation and then we'll go back to our 3d viewport and now when we play through it our camera will be moving at a constant speed around our building asset here all right so to finish off this video i'm going to show you guys how to add some shallow depth of field to your camera so that your camera is only focusing on our main building here in the center of our scene here which kind of adds a little bit more of that cinematic feel for your animations so we'll go ahead and just zoom into our camera here and we'll just select our camera and then we'll just go to the depth of field option under our camera tab and go ahead and select it and then if we just use the eyedropper tool we can just select our skyscraper 5 here and now our camera is always going to be focused on this asset here and then to control how blurry your background is going to be you would just go under the aperture option here and then under f-stop the lower your f-stop the more blurry your background will be and if you put this number higher then of course then more will be in focus in the background 2.8 is a pretty good number to get a good cinematic feel Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Again, if you want to know how to create a very simple particle-based city with some City Builder 3D assets, check out our previous video showing how to do that. I'll see you guys next time.